everybody! These are sweet potatoes. Let's make something sweet and crunchy. It's called matang in Korean. Sweet and crunchy sweet potato. I bought this in Korean grocery store. These are from just a local grocery store. My local grocery store says Asian yams. I'm going to measure one pound. Add a little bit more because I'm going to peel. So a little more than one pound. Korean sweet potatoes, inside is a, a little bit white color and also it doesn't contain much water so that when it's cooked, it tastes like a chestnut. Let's wash. I will just dry them out and I'm going to fry, deep fry. This is just around six cups cooking oil. So I use the grape seed oil, but you guys can use vegetable oil or corn oil. And I'm going to turn on the heat. We're going to trim this and also cut like this. This sweet potato is very hard because it doesn't contain much water. So you need to be careful when you cut. It's a one pound, nicely cut sweet potato. Matang was just my favorite snack when I was in high school and university. These kind of small snacks are sold. Just a small restaurant, it looked like a cafeteria. And then I used to go to this kind of snack bar with my friends after school. And we were so hungry. And we just go there and we order matang and also tteokbokki, spicy rice cake, and then kind of, you know, the fish cake soup. So we just order all together and then we share together because uh, spicy rice cake, we need some kind of, you know, soup, soupy things. <laughs> so and then we eat and also matang is, uh, right after made matang is uh, amazing. It is just so hot, temperature is uh, hot, inside is so yummy and candied, candied sweet potato. So matang was always kind of our favorite. After eating all this, we go back home and then we eat dinner again. That's why we were kind of, you know, all plump. Let me check the temperature. So I want that around 340 Fahrenheit. Now 350, 340 or 350. If we don't have a thermometer, just put it this and bubbles. You see, bubble, lots of bubbles coming up. So this is the right temperature. So be careful because when you deal with this hot oil, I'm doing this way. Meanwhile, let's make a syrup. Medium heat and oil. Cooking oil around two tablespoons. All coat this on the bottom. One third cup white sugar. Heat up this sugar around like three minutes until it starts melting. To cook evenly, just stir. I like to make this matang really crunchy and inside is really soft. So I cook this around four minutes, take them out. I turn off the heat because I don't want to make it too brown and because I need to focus on this syrup. Sugar is melting in oil, hot oil, very, very hot. Turn down the heat to low. And meanwhile, let's heat up over medium high heat. When you make this syrup, don't use any spoon or any chopstick because it's going to be crystallized. So I never use just anything, I don't stir. Keep moving around this pan so that just hot oil is going to melt this sugar and beautiful color, golden brown. Okay. This is 340, so I'm going to fry again. So this time only two minutes. Now 
nice. You see? Looks like inside the air. Balloon. I fried this one more minute. Beautiful color. Let's add. And these are black sesame seeds. Just a little bit. Stir. Coat evenly with the syrup. Nice, isn't it? This is my baking sheet and parchment paper. I put the parchment paper and I will bring it here. So when it's hot, you need to separate. This is matang. <laughs> we made this matang. So easy. Sweet potato and sugar. That's all you need. Of course, oil. <laughs> you need to fry. Let them cool down a little bit and put them on a plate. Excess oil is on the parchment paper. This is matang we made today. Let me taste. Like this. Coated very nicely. So it's not stick to each other anymore. This time I'm going to open it up. You see? All this coated very crunchy and candied, candied sweet potato. Sweet and crunchy and inside is so creamy and this is a perfect dessert or snack. Just uh, if you have a sweet potato at home, just make it for your family. And I used to make this for my children when they were young. Today, we made sweet and crunchy sweet potato in Korean matang. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.